Let's see if we can't do something about my boredom. Look at that, son. Blue's trying to get us back onto the plot of the game, son. Trying to get us back to business. That's what I appreciate about you, Blue. Once again, we're just about the same eye height on the stairs. And that's a good thing. And that's a good thing. All right. Uh, let's go talk to Captain Brent before we do anything else. I knew you would appreciate that. Uh, so he could see me be a cool mage before we change job classes. Because spoilers, we're going to change job classes. Let us go. Let us away from this place, Blue. It's so nice to have no HUD on the screen, but... I'm going to be so completely lost. <laughs> oh, that's right. We need to be here at night. At ye old night. Don't pout about it, Blue. It's part of the game. Um, Well, then, we could go to my house. I like that you came over here and looked at the violinist. Never mind, Blue. This lady's hateful, and I don't appreciate her tone and snippiness, son. She's brought me out of my immersion, so now I can turn the interface back on. She reminded me I'm in a video game full of hateful NPCs. And that I'm the hero. That I'm the only one with cognizance. Well, I mean, when you think about it, that's kind of true. Because video games, you know, reboot, uh, the Matrix, blue, a scanner darkly. I've never, like, read or seen the movie A Scanner Darkly. It doesn't the main character is like it's Keanu Reeves, but he keeps constantly shape shifting so people can't tell that he's like an undercover cop. <laughs> because that's how things work in the future. Alright, we need to remember where my house is in regards to this area. I believe it's over in the common quarter, son. My house is right smart common. So it's actually to the northeast. Always to the northeast. That's what that old man, Marius, is that his name? The, the old man in Diablo 2? He gets shafted super hard by the story, by the way. He's one of them poor assholes you read about on TV tropes. Blue, why can't I remember where we live? <laughs> I've just now learned where the center of town is. This looks like my house. Okay. We're going to learn this route together, Blue. <laughs> She's going to pretend that she doesn't know it either. But give me subtle hints on where to turn. So when we're in the center of town, where all the good shit happens, where you hire pawns and change your class and upgrade your armor. Oh God, we've ended up in some secret cellar. Cellar door. Merely this and nothing more. Okay, so from the main statue of town... If we run through this secret cellar and down this alley past this asshole who might not be there at all given times and then to make a hard right, it loops us around to here. And look, there's like a secret upstairs area that nobody else knew about, son. I'm telling you, we got that place for a steal, son. In 10 years, we'll sell it. What did I buy it for? 20K, boys? We could get like 22k for it, Blue. You know what we can do? $2,000? We could buy a Neo Geo and an old Sony Trinitron TVs. God damn it, those things heavy. Son, you ever had to haul a Sony Trinitron out of the fourth floor of some dingbatters <laughs> McMansion on the Emerald Isle? From above their fireplace? Well, I have many times, along with my good friend Levi, who I used to deliver appliances with. Blue, you're missing out on all this secret lore about me in real life, our parasocial relationship. To me. Oh, stop. <laughs> She's so 
mad that I'm not advancing the ball. Where are you hung on? Have you seen a cute snow leopard lady in like her regal armor with a sword? She doesn't have a shield because I unequipped it at the beginning of the episode, so she'd look cooler in town. <laughs> not because I forgot to do it. Oh, I, I, so busy trying to read what Blue says and that quest text that I'm hung in these stairs. Are you up here? Are you scared to go downstairs? It's okay, Blue. I'm going to show you. I'm going to teach you what object permanence is and depth of field. Your field of view slider, Blue. You're going to be the best TF2 player. Son, when you fan artists are drawing Tenfei in blue now and decide to have them cosplaying as Team Fortress 2 characters, son, that's tough. I'd like to think I could pull off heavy weapons guy. And blue, well, she'd be the medic, son. She's ready to uber me. Wait, there's a secret bag hanging outside my door. Forgive me for stopping by unannounced. I was so eager to see you, I neglected to think of your convenience. And lo and behold, you are out. At least I remember to bring you a gift in recompense. Uh, you could have left a thesaurus to us. I know what the hell half this letter means. <laughs> I shall leave it here. I only hope we will see each other again, Anon. Oh, God, he's green text posting, son. For I long to hear more of your tales about the world, your life, and your experiences, Sven. Fruit wine. Son, we're going to need some cheese to go with this wine, Blue. Some blue cheese. Ah, good times. Okay, we're back to our house, which means we can sleep till night. Which belongs to lovers, appropriately enough. Son, I'm going to teach you about afternoon delight, Blue. Afternoon delight. The skyrockets have taken flight. Alright, I always start every evening day with a Noctis jump. It's only appropriate. Blue, have I mentioned recently how fantastic you look in that outfit? Son. Get you the kind of lady that looks regal in plate armor. Get you the kind of lady that can tank and spank in equal measure. Okay. Captain Drunky or whatever is finally back in here. Hanging out at the bar with this lady. Oh, I guess I could have passed the time here, but then I wouldn't have gone and laid in a bed with Blue, and I just can't do that. Never mind. I'm just going to advance the plot. That's how boring you are. Right, Blue? I forgot when we come in here, you get real extra bashful, son. Or are you just staring daggers at this cat lady that I showed some attention to? Because I'll support that. Well, look at this little feller. What do you do? Well, that's nothing to be sad about. I did a Noctis jump, and it was really embarrassing and immersion-breaking, so at least, you know, you didn't do that. You're lucky I'm in my regal mage attire, son. I don't know. Mage ten phase. Not a bad look, either. At the end of the playthrough, kind of like the Tunic Sagas of Breath of the Wild, you have to tell me which version of Tenfei the Tiger you like most. Blue just checks all of the above. Um, I guess you need to tell me about the things I've done. So tell me about the monsters I killed and how cool it was. Well, be sure to tell the people that Blue helped. That I did the majority of the work. Oh no, he got real paranoid when I started talking about Blue. He's like, she's not behind me, is she? She's not pouting, is she? この酒場を訪れれば、各社に会えると、これを積み重ねていけば、リーサとて、陛下の存在を見せると、これを受け取りください。任務完了ですね。Once again, Blue, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but this is a secret meeting. Not since... Uh, Blue, you just got done chastising me because you wanted me to come talk to Captain Brandt, and now you want me to go do a side quest. All right? <laughs> I, I see you. Don't worry. 
I was going to get you to equip this cool new cloak. Well, we could do that across the aether, can't we? Alright, because I was given this. He knows what a quest reward is, son. Grants the wearer an air of authority. I don't know if that's going to go with my current caster attire, but I guess we could look at it with our eyes. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? Yeah, we definitely got to give that to Blue. At least while she's still rocking in the melee world. Keep on rocking in the melee world. That's the crowd that refused to update the brawl. Look at this. Look at this. Have you ever seen a snow leopard lady so regal, son? So regal. Oh, yeah. Damn, Blue. Let's leave you a fighter the rest of the game, son. Okay, now that we're done with all these fun and shenanigans. Just don't follow any quests at the moment. She's like, no quests, but... <sighs> yeah, she's in full-blown sulk, buddy. So we're going to have basically until dawn to talk <laughs> before she's going to want to interact with me again. How close can I stand to you when we're chatting, by the way? Okay. So, basically what we're doing is doing things to help the people so that everybody likes us and then the queen has to, like, acknowledge us. She can't just shadow ban us from her DMs, son. She's got to respond. I clicked the mouse, or I jiggled the mouse slightly, and everything was a mistake. Um, well then, tell me about the queen. We can practice shit talking her. This <laughs> Well, I was actually thinking of job changing to a sneaky tiger boy class, so I'd be right down my alley, son. Son, he's going to prop the queen's uh, bathroom door open. Or the, the window, the bathroom window. Nobody expects you to come in through the bathroom window, son. Nobody. Um, should I just accept all of his quests while we're here? We might as well. <laughs> Every time I talk to him about a new subject, I get a little bit closer. It's like that movie Hero. What about the magistrate, son? First of all, you're going to have to explain what a magistrate is. Uh, to, you know, for blue. <laughs> I totally know, son. I'm like Barrett Wallace at the beginning of Final Fantasy VII. I for sure know how his material works, but maybe Cloud could explain it to me, you know, to the player character. <laughs> Okay, so another one of our good friends uh, is in jail. So we're going to post Bond or bake him a cake with some Simtex in it. Oh, God. He's going to disavow all knowledge, son. On-site procurement. We're just like Solid Snake, and he's our Roy Campbell. She still wants me to go <laughs> interact with that boy about that box. Blue, I'm almost done getting quest. Blue's there. It's like when you're with your mom and she's visiting somebody, <laughs> son, and all you want to do is leave and get home and to play your Super Nintendo. And every time you think the conversation's about the end, they go on to something else. <laughs> and you're just standing over by the door sulking, son. Your mom didn't even let you bring your Game Boy. Not that you had an adequate light source in some old lady's <laughs> dungeon-ass uh, dank dark house. Not that I'm speaking from any particular experience, son. All right. So... <laughs> what other quests you got for me, buddy? What about the Masquerade? Vampire the Masquerade. Have they finally patched that so that it's playable? It only took two decades, son. Uh, 
It only took a CERN <laughs> research team with a supercomputer to make Vampire the Masquerade playable. Oh, Okay, you want me to sneak into a party like Tuxedo Mask, son, and find out some shit about the boy that's pretending to be me? I like it. Thank you. Okay, so he gave me the mask to sneak in and nobody will notice a giant tiger man in a mask. <laughs> but apparently I have to get the duds myself. Yes, Blue, I remember that boy that I bought that box for. I never thought he'd have such a fan. I got one more quest to get out of this guy, son. I have to get the closest possible. I have to be standing behind him like Ale, talking to Light Nagami. No. Grant, it is me who is behind you. Tell me about the false sovereign who I'm going to a party to get juicy gossip about. Sweet corn sour. She's been making cornbread. My God, she's more devious than I thought. So, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she この大金はそしてスピティロの花はベルムントのそれを隠語に用いるには何か意味雲をつかむような話で申し訳ございませんが奴の素性を探るべくベルムント東端の調査をお願いいたしますそう so you need me to go to where the cornbread flowers grow and see if somebody's grandma has like the recipe for the best cornbread and then we could be like did you have a piece of shit grandson named Arthur who pretended to be a cool Tiger Man or isn't, and she'll be like, oh, why, yes, he was such a good boy. I'm like, yeah, he was, son. Well, tell you what, <laughs> when you get to hell, I'll make sure he's waiting there to greet you. <laughs> Granny Cornbread, we've made up the best little side story. Wow, poor Brant here awkwardly waits for our reply, son. Blue would have thought it was funny. Blue would have laughed. <laughs> Alright, Blue. Where, oh, you're already on the way there. Yes, my god, yes. I don't want anything more in the world than to find that boy that I bought that box for and for whatever useless garbage he wants to give me. We have to make time pass again. We're not going to the Nameless Village Blue. That's really far away. I know you're excited. Um. Okay. Scaly Invaders. Oh, I have to see how that town did. I see. I've got a lot of choices. I got a lot of choices. Hmm. If we just make it daytime, will he be there? I'm going to go stand in the pub until it's daytime, and then we'll see if that boy is there. Huh? Passing time, doing crimes. And if you serve me a Coke, you better have lime. All right, how much time pass? That's not... I don't know what time it is. Okay, it's morning, but... The sky has become like a Windows 95 desktop <laughs> repeating wallpaper pattern. As long as we don't get stuck in the 3D maze screensaver. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or the pipes, Blue. The pipes are calling. 
excuse me, sir, I'm making a Windows 95 screensaver reference. Or it could have been 98. I don't know. Those years kind of blend together. Those years tend to blend together. Now, I'm going to assume that kid doesn't just appear at dawn. I'm assuming he's going to be right there because it's the last place we saw him. And also the yellow uh, circle of intentions radiates here on my map. Let's make time pass one more time. Double time. I need the Ocarina of Time. Uh, speaking of Ocarina of Time, you now have a uh, Link. Teen Link and uh, Teen Malin as potential Ten Fei in Blue cosplay <laughs> fan art character, son. God, you've got so much choice. Yeah, I knew you'd be here eventually. Yeah, so とても珍しいものだったよし。そろそろ行くよ。しばらくは外に出られないかもしれない。だから君とも次はいつ会えるか。だけどきっとまた会えるよね。そんな気がするんだ。じゃあ元気でね。俺を渡されるとは思っていませ
Yes. Fundamentals of battle. They're like Thief Scott daggers and Thief Scott legs. So they can move up to you and cut you. So it's the most dangerous aspect. I haven't read one word. I Knowing when to strike and slip away. Okay. Oh, you get like an actual dodge ability. My God. Some Dark Souls players don't know what to do with themselves. In the blink of an eye. Press Y to use twin fangs. You can pin down foes that have been knocked off balance by continuing to hold Y. It's just kind of like our jumping, plunging attack we love to do with our sword. Okay, so remember why. If somebody staggered, then ask why aren't you pressing the Y button. That's how you remember it. Clinging to larger foes. Holding down while activating. Twin fangs allows you to cling to larger foes. Okay, so I guess they're better at scrambling around on the enemies. That makes sense. A thief would be more nambly and conversely more pambly with stuff like that. When you land an attack using Y, it will change to a powerful successive strike if the target is knocked down. If the target is not expecting the attack, son, sinister strikes and eviscerates and such. So basically try to backstab people. So basically be a video game thief. Now we'll deal with the equipment later when we get back to the house. But first and foremost, we've got Plenty of depth to burn. Biting wind dashes past the target with blades extended. So it's kind of like the warrior's dash, but you just keep going instead of knocking the enemy to hell. So that's our get in there move. Enkindle blades brings the daggers together to ignite, wreath them so you can put your own damn fire buffs on your dagger, son. You know, I gotta have it. That's a good circle, but shadow cloak. Enables the user to blend in the surroundings, rendering them more difficult for hostile targets to detect. Less effective when... It, okay, so this is to sneak up and backstab people. So you're going to want a pawn that's like drawing aggro. A chunk of our awesome rock, the aggro crack, son. Nickelodeon Guts, that best episode that they refused to air <laughs> past the first time was when that fully grown tiger man somehow snuck his way. So now you can draw Tid Fey as a Guts contestant and Blue as Mo, the referee, son. I'm telling you. Uh, Scarlet Kisses. So we have to, like, make our X button better. I'll make sure Blue gets all of my Scarlet Kisses. Okay, so we're going to want to prevent physical damage. Now, we don't want to be targeted. We want to carry more weight. We want to have more magic defense. And we want to... Get healed better, son. See, it's good to diversify your class portfolio, son. It's like Final Fantasy Tactics. Or Final Fantasy V, if you've ever heard of such a game. Okay, so she's got... This is like the same kind of flame that the mage started with. Okay, some of these skills are the same. Then you get Salamander. That's like a more better fire spell. So I'm immediately going to buy and equip it. Ugh. Thundermine. Ball of lightning. Oh, I guess. Yep, I gotta have it. The moment I saw them Thunderballs, I knew I had to have it. I've never actually seen Thunderball or From Russia with Love, but I'd like to think that's part of the movie. Burst and Bolt. Okay, so that's just your charge up, like, quote unquote, melee. Your Gauntlet Legends shit. Okay, so you want metal. We basically have. Oh, no, that's right. She got more advanced majory. Because she was a mage much longer than me. And it's a good thing. Okay. We're good. I've, I've become secretly sneaky so quickly. Blue, that's a nice outfit, but we might want to get you into some clothes that uh breathe a little better, we'll say. Alright, I'm gonna remember where our house is. So from this statue. You go through the secret cellar. Through here, past where that asshole likes to hang out sometimes. Round the corner, and there she is. Come on, Blue. A home is not a house without a snow leopard lady. I butchered that. Butchered it. Blue, please come on. I want you to be in here when we both strip asshole naked and put on proper clothes. The proper clothes bandits, they'll call us. All right. We're going to start from scratch. So we're going to deposit basically everything. 
I like how you can't unequip the lantern if it's in your inventory, so we haven't really had a way to not have that hanging on our belt. So these let you set up fast travel points, I believe. So they are valuable, and I could see why that was a good request reward we got from that kid. I don't know if it was worth being <laughs> aggravated to death. All right, we're not going to sneak in that party right now, so we don't need to... Oh, I'm wearing those. That was what appeared on my body. I see. I see. Okay. So we can store a lot of this for now. We need to strip ass all naked. We need an unequip all button, son. We'll figure out who gets which ring when, and it'll be a good thing. Right, Blue? Oh, she never had a shield. That's right. <laughs> she was shieldless from birth. No, Blue, just keep the cape on, son. Just keep the cape on. Oh, I forgot she didn't have one of those. But okay, now we can properly sort our shit. Okay, we'll deposit these for right a second because I don't know where to use them. They're one of those items that's too good to use. If I place that fairy stone in the wrong place, it might be the final thing that forces Henry and conversely Margaret because she doesn't have her own YouTube account. She just uses Henry's <laughs> um, of unsubscribing. Hey, anyway, while we're getting dressed, we'll take the belt lanterns off. I'm just going to keep these because, like I said, they're so light and so variable. Okay. That's cool. Let's dress blue up first, because that's always more important. So we're going to definitely want her to wear those drawers that I broke in for her. And probably this cool robe and this cool head. Which headpiece is the coolest? Crown of Insight. Allows the wearer to focus their magical energies more effectively. Words against the inversion and repulsion of magical energies. I'd say it's a little bit better. Just a hint. Just a smidge. As for her cloak, uh, we can try them all out. See which one looks the best on her, son. Blue is always a top priority when it comes to fashion souls of this playthrough. And we've only got this one staff for her, but we'll go by the store, see what they got. And as for rings, what would be the best for Blue? Maximum health would be good. I... There's two of these... Me and Blue should each wear one so we can haul more shit around. And give her fire protection. We'll give her more health. God bless her. We won't worry about consumables right this second. All right, Blue. Let's make you... Oh, well, first of all, <laughs> I got to make sure I broke in these drawers just right. So let me get a uh, once over on you, Blue. You know what? I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm a big enough Tiger Man to admit that Blue <laughs> pulls off those pants so better than me, son. So God bless her for putting up with all this nonsense. Here, let me move you <laughs> for no particular reason over to here so we can get a good eyeful of you as we dress you up. Oh no, she's too bashful. All right, now you can put your uh, gear on. Oh, no, she, she can't actually wear that. Really? That's crazy. That's crazy. I just, I didn't even look. <laughs> I assumed so hard and got so far, and in the end, it didn't even matter. All right, well, then what are you going to wear? To the ball, to be the bell of the ball. I pressed the wrong button. We want to withdraw. Oh, no. I did press the right button. Nobody pay attention to anything I say. Um, well, there's this. She could wear my minor shirt that I started with. This robe is really good, but it, like I said, it doesn't seem very breathable. Can she wear this armor while she's a sorceress? Is that right? Is that because, like, she leveled up in it? Because I'll support that. I mean, I'm a big fan of Pantsu Blue, as we'll call her. But I'll still support that, son. What say ye? Well, 
Well, she can. She could be pantsuit armor. Although I guess they have different bonuses between them. That something about that is that's like going to ch check the doorbell and you just slap your robe on and nothing else, son. I like the sandals with this set look. But I like full metal blue. Uh, the thigh highs make it slightly more tasteful. She's still going to keep her cool crown, though. That means she could still rock this fucking cape. Blue. Everything came up fantastic. No, the armor just shows that sorcerers can equip. Why can sorcerers equip this piece of armor? We'll never know. Or maybe it's when you upgrade it. So many strange systems that I'm incapable of learning about, son. Such a mysterious Jogo. All right, Blue. You are 100% tank caster, son. Maybe we should give her the thing that makes the enemies run towards her so I can backstab them. Speaking of me backstabbing, I guess I should put clothes on too. So, Blue, you need to go ahead and deposit what you couldn't wear. Or chose not to wear. Can a thief wear them pants? Am I going to be pants? Tiger thief. I might have to support that. <laughs> I might have to support that. All right. What are the pants I'm going to build? My foundation upon courtly breaches, explorer's boots. We got those a long time ago. I wish there was an option to sort the things that you can't equip. Like, why is that not an option? Miner's Hosen. They give you some good elemental resistances. I guess we could try them all on. Oh, I can slap on some ranger pants too, son. Just for blue. I'm willing to sacrifice my Tiger Man dignity just for blue. Oh, I can't wear this. If I could still be magnificent in my toga while rocking them thieves daggers. I'm probably not going to wear that hood. Look at this cool thing. I have to see what I look like in that. And of course, we've got our spoiled for choice with daggers. So these are the starting ones. So, you know, we're not going to pick those. Let's see. Stilettos. I guess the Signs of Valor have the most best. Oh, they have less knockdown power, but do more damage. That's kind of neat. These weigh a little less, too. Stilettos. Once uses spear tips. Yeah, I saw you yeah, yeah, had me at spear tips, son. You had me at Dragoon, ladies. Okay. Now, unfortunately, Blue, it's your least favorite part of the playthrough where I get dressed. But once again, just because you're such a good sport and you've put up with so much, I'll start out <laughs> from the pants. What do you think, Blue? Don't look at the weird pacemaker scar I apparently have in the middle of my chest that glistens. Sad. It's like, uh, you ever seen Loaded Weapon? Where he intentionally takes a bare-ass slow walk across the room? Uh-huh. I see that secret nice you just gave. Okay, if I were to wear these ridiculous pants for Blue... No. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Blue. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Let's see. So these are the minor hosen. They resist more th or different things, more different things. I could also be real courtly. I could be the gentleman thief, the thief of hearts. Don't let James Rolfe in the room when I'm being addressed as the thief of hearts. I don't care what his response is. We all know what it's going to be. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you know what? I should have taken the uh, courtly shirt out if I really want to be the thief of hearts, son. That crowd from Persona 5 will be knocking, kicking my door down, trying to get me to join. I'm like, hey, it's better than that other group of kids that wanted me to shoot myself in the head with a quote-unquote evoker gun. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. The crowd from Persona 4 didn't even bother calling me. I blame Yusuke. Okay, the Thief of Hearts. You're messing with the Thief of Hearts. How does this look with this... <laughs> 
I know Blue would be a fan of it, but no. <laughs> no, there's no getting away with it. God damn, ain't I regal with this shit. And then I could wear a ye old regal mask or this ridiculous 1920s American football helmet. The My God, the Thief of Hearts. The Thief of Hearts is becoming more and more prevalent. This might kind of go with it. Well, maybe, maybe not. It all depends on the, the cape. If we were to use this one and this flowing cape, it shows that the Thief of Hearts has like a regal underbearing, but above that, he's got like this cool tattered cloak and mask. That's how you know he's really cool and really slick. How would this hold up compared to just wearing, you know, regular ass bandit gear? Uh, uh. Yeah, we'll just go with the regular ass bandit gear. I'll let y'all argue about it in the comments. These pants don't really match. <laughs> These hosen. These hosen are making me thirsty. Ooh, I could have the one flip it thing going behind me. Remember, this is going to clip with my hair. If we could just accept that my long, luxurious tiger locks are going to clip <laughs> through my cloak, then I guess I could justify just wearing this cloak. There's also Blue's favorite, which goes really good with her armor as well. Blue's got all kinds of options when it comes to being an armor cat lady. I guess we could have took some rings, too. The beginning of this episode's got a lot of uh, lore <laughs> and exposition as far as getting shit Okay, yeah, I want that, and I want to carry more. These are so light that I'm just going to bring them all with me. Just like the jars of peanut butter in Eureka's Castle. I didn't even humor being the Raid Shadow Legend NordVPN guy yet again. Yet again. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and take our belt lanterns back out, to and one of these camping kits. So we can figure out how we're going to dull this shit out. And we'll go from there. I can go ahead and give you the things I'm not wearing. And we'll get that when we actually go to do the quest. I guess I could actually equip those daggers for fun. Fun time daggers, we call them. Son. Definitely not a character in Final Fantasy IX. There's literally a bar portion of Final Fantasy IX where dagger aka Princess Garnet gets real sad and cuts her hair short and during battle she like literally just stands there and mopes and sometimes like won't do things. Fun times. Final Fantasy IX is a game that leaves everyone sad <laughs> in the end, son. It's one of my favorite Final Fantasies but thinking about it almost always leaves me sad. What about you, Blue? She'd probably like Saga Frontier given her namesake. Okay. We're almost done with the boring part of the video. Let's add oil to you. And then give you to blue. Ooh, and then let's add oil to you. Blue, why don't you hold this camping kit for me for just a bit? Just a bit. You're a doll. An absolute doll. And buy items. Can we make anything we care about? Great deal of help. I'm more interested in stamina recovery, honestly, than I am health. So I want to make more reverence or remembrance. More Rembrandt's based on stamina. The mal eating elixir. That cures petrification. That's actually pretty useful. I've been petrified. Well, no, have I been petrified or was I frozen? We need to get uh, Christopher Lloyd in here to point out whether we've been frozen today. <laughs> it's actually a Nostalgia Critic reference. Even I'm amazed <laughs> that I could make a Nostalgia Critic reference. We can't make any of these damn things that recover stamina, apparently. Okay, yeah, these are what we want. These things. So let's convert... Some more of y'all into that. Hmm. 
Okay, okay. Cool beans, cool beans. So now we can go in here. I'm going to take three of these, and Blue's going to take three of these. And since Blue can actually use healing items, we're going to give her a couple, two, three of these to hold on to. Icebound. Oh, I catch on fire a lot, <laughs> unfortunately, so maybe I'll uh, give her a couple of them. Okay, I'm going to bring at least one wake stone. I guess this fruit wine must be used either for a quest or for crafting something. That's kind of neat, I guess. A few of these, and of course, regular old-fashioned healing potions. Five for me, five for Blue. Remember, Blue can't just heal us with magic anymore. She can't just heal us with kisses. These things aren't super heavy. I should just bring all of them with me and just remember to use them indiscriminately. Remember, this is a game where, like Skyrim and such, where you can just pause the game and <laughs> use whatever items you want. Of course, you could do that in Daggerfall and Morrowind. Well, I don't know about Daggerfall, but Morrowind and Oblivion, so I guess I shouldn't lay that sin solely on the feet of Skyrim. All right, Blue, we're finally done. Gearing up. Getting hyped. Now we're going to go to the store and see if we can buy even better gear. Now that we've done all that, this is how I play the game. You're you're literally just watching me play the video game. I just realized I like to treat it like it's a little show I'm putting on for your kids, and that's why I have like the naming scheme and like the running bits and the fade-ins and fade-outs and such, but when you break it down, it's just me playing a video game, and if I was just sitting here playing this video game by myself, this is how I'd be playing it. I'd probably even be talking to myself like a crazy person. Okay. The Unseen Shadow. If I wanted to be proper shinobi, I might put that on, but luckily I don't. I'm not much of a proper shinobi. Look at this cool hunter's mail. And this cool puffy ranger vest. Jerry Seifeld would be so mad if he had to wear that on a talk show. Oh, we could be more of like an armored bandit. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. What about pants? Hmm. Hmm. Nap leather boots. They give you some good debilitation. This gives you just the tiniest hint of orange tiger thigh. Is that what I'm seeing? I can't tell. I hit up on the right stick and time lost all meaning. Combat breaches. Provide the bare minimum protection <laughs> needed to avoid a slash leg. I see. Running across heels. If it like made you use less stamina, I might be interested in those. All right. Did we find... These pants match my jacket much better, but we lose a lot of potential. Might need to get me a pair of these. Treat myself. Yes. All right. As always, these... Ah, uh, the dashing cape. Wouldn't be bad with this outfit either. Neither would the regal, but that's not why we're here. Uh, does Blue need anything that they sell here? Oh, man, look at this cool robe. See, this is the robe we would give her if she was wearing the skimpier drawers. When we upgrade you later, Blue, to skimpy drawers, Blue, <laughs> everyone's favorite Chase variant figure, we might get you an animistic robe and unlock your animistic tendencies. Uh, as far as weapons... Oh, you don't sell weapons here. There's probably a better staff... For blue for sale at one of these places okay 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 hmm okay yeah that marcher set can just be worn by damn near anything oh here's that tunic if we didn't do that quest for that guy jesus i guess he really did give us some uh expensive threads son well i could be an armored knight as well but i couldn't be 
the proper thief of hearts that way and i just can't accept that there was another store upstairs wasn't there wasn't there we've come across so many various stores that it's hard to tell okay you just sell weapons oh preferably to surpass metal gear the throat cutters i like the name of them all right, stilettos, the snag daggers. They're like little rune blades. Cloud gets a sword in Final Fantasy VII with double materia growth called the rune blade, and it just looks like that, but big because it's Cloud Strife. Cloud Strife's like King Cold from Dragon Ball Z. When he holds a sword, it just gets bigger. It just gets bigger. Well, I don't... Well, actually, these are much better than my <laughs> current dagger. Of course, they cost 14,800 gold. But they give you 169 knockdown power. I can't ignore my <laughs> memes of that power, of that magnitude. What kind of sticks you got for my armored master lady? Meniscus. An arch staff boasts in a sleek design. The branching end, reminiscent of a waning moon. If it was a crescent moon, you'd have had me, son. You'd have had me. An arch staff of bronze. That's what she currently has equipped? Yeah. So this would raise her magics quite a bit and give her some more knockdown power. Well, I got the money, son. And if I got the money, honey, then Blue's got the time. You know, we could be selling the shit we're not equipped with anymore, like the Signs of Valor. But we wouldn't really get very much. We'll start selling shit if we desperately need money at some point. All right. Do we want to go find that last store before we start upgrading shit? No. Oh, I've been beating off the Manitars with both hands, boys. So I'm all about... Oh, no, Great Griffith Claw. <laughs> Does it gotta be that? Do you accept substitutions? Can it be a, uh, an all right Griffith Claw? Cinnamon Bark Crunch and Harpy Pinions and one Rabbit Pelt makes my armor the good armor. Beast Skin. Goblin form. And as for blue. Oh, we never upgraded this crown, even though I wore it in the last episode. We need a fail lord's bone and an astrocyte. I see. We're going to pay out the astrocyte <laughs> to enhance that damn thing. Oh, no. We need one more putrid gold tooth. What the hell drops those? An ogre? Are we going to have to get in an ogre battle? To please our unicorn overlord? Which is a game that recently caught my eye for no particular reason. <laughs> Any of you all that are familiar with unicorn overlord are all looking at each other and just sternly nodding. You're like, yeah, Uncle Ted Faye. That's why you were drawn to it. I think we're finally ready to start questing. How long have I been recording? Here, let me check. Uh, for a little bit. <laughs> for just a little bit. Uh, but first we have to go back to the house, Blue, and drop off all this useless gear. So it turns out you can bypass the secret cellar. Don't tell anybody that, Blue. That'll be our secret if we're ever being tailed back to our house. Luckily, our house is designed where it's hard to creep in on the windows. You got to, like, either get up on that roof or lean over here, son. So when people are trying to see what we get up to in here. Also, they could just ask. I'll open the window if they want to see what we get up to, Blue. We ain't bashful. We're cat people. Have you ever seen... Oh, I got to make this go away. I'm glad one of y'all taught me how to make that go away. I appreciate it. I was going to say, we're like the Thundercats in that first episode. Where they're all just standing around asshole naked. Oh, I haven't equipped any rings yet. So luckily this screen has reminded me to do that. Luckily. Uh, thinking about Thundercats, now I'm required to talk about the 2011 Thundercats reboot that I kind of liked. And that, of course, never continued. Mainly the Chitara design, which I can look to my shelf to my right. Anyone who's watched my Shelf Quest series, although I live in a completely different place and my shelf is completely differently arranged than it was in that video series. Uh, my Chitara figure is still there. Um, 
blue. <laughs> Do you remember where the quest is? Oh, we don't have full HP. We should go to bed until the morning. We And I forgot we still have to hire some cat ladies, too. I was so excited getting dressed and making sure Blue looked real good for her first day of sorceress school that I forgot. You know, we could get rid of some of these marks, too. Like this one where the murder or suicide took place, we could probably clear. How do you clear marks? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm officially over it. Uh, you want to tell us something, buddy? Are you scared of me? Will you acknowledge me? Nope. He's in permanent scared mode. Wait, what the hell is happening? Oh, there's a fucking monster in the town! Well, no wonder! Hey, buddy! The Thief of Hearts! Blue, this didn't count where I got slobber knocked right to start with. It's like that movie, The New Guy. The new guy! Okay, I'm on his back. Twin fangs! <laughs> From Hell's Heart! I hit that spot that's real hard to scratch between your shoulder blades. Oh no! He got me. I'm coming back though! Twin fangs in the eye! In the eye! In the eye! I'm doing all the work and everybody's here to see it! Everyone's here to see it! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's blue! That's blue, baby. I wish I could see you casting your cool spells, Blue. Oh, you're right there. You're the only one with a name and a life bar. <laughs> That's what I like about you. This poor fucking thing doesn't know what to do. Maybe you don't wander into a, a fully, st like, <laughs> guarded human settlement. How did I end up upside down on your back? I don't know. I'm just mashing triangle and I'm winning, baby. I can't stop winning, baby. Oh, no, I lost. Blue, make up a story about how cool I was, even though everyone was here. You have to gaslight all of them, Blue. You have to gaslight all of them. <laughs> I have other abilities in Kindle Blades. Oh, oh. Here come oh, no, he's in anger mode. I forgot he does that. Woo! Okay. Okay, I just wanted to weaken him for everybody. And kindle my blades. I, the thief of hearts, shall now stab yours. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to teach you to be a better person by stealing your heart in a mind palace. In a mind palace. Ah, uh, Persona 5, give me the strength. Okay, I need to get away from you. Embolden my daggers. Fighting win. Fighting win. I forgot that's a thing. Oh, no, he's mad. Ooh, ooh. Fighting win! Oh no, I became secrets and lies. I had to do all the work. I had to do all the work! I did it. You're welcome, everybody. I became the predator or <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger when he killed the predator. But it was all worth it. Has anyone seen my Q Snow Leopard lady? If you see any mystic energy, she's probably nearby. Hey, Blue. <laughs> uh, is it related to what we just went through? I think my textures are just corrupted. Blue, you need to reinstall Counter-Strike Source <laughs> so that my textures aren't messed up. I, you can't see my facial expression, but Blue is giving you the incredulous look that I wish I could right now. メルベトの定期便が、じゃが、魔物が完全に消えたわけ。そこでじゃ。あんたには実際に定期便に乗る警備団のグレゴルドの奥方から預かったって紙じゃ。確かに。あの、ギッシャが出る時間は決まっておる
Now that I'm a corpse, now that I've got the zombie status effect, I knew we should have stocked up on holy water items. I knew we shouldn't have used them all to kill undead dragons. In the sealed... The cave to the sealed door of the espers. Oh god, we're down here in this nameless hell. My stamina is bad off at all times. I presume because I'm bad off at all times. I was gonna say, isn't my house near <laughs> where we are right now? Oh, I'm this must be petrification. I just now realized I'm getting petrified. Uh, obviously, that's something you could just sleep off, right, Blue? <laughs> right, Blue? Right, Blue? I didn't mention the controller started shaking the more petrified I got. Oh, yeah. If anyone ever gets turned to stone, just lay them in a bed. And if you can have a snoot, a snoot? <laughs> a cute snow leopard lady. I combined cute and snow leopard and made the word snoot, which Blue kind of has a snoot, which needs booping, son. I gotta be careful and we end up getting red at gold with all this nonsense, son. Don't bring up any doggos or puppers, son. Or it'll be non-stop red at gold. Okay, now that that was over, is that something that happens? Monsters just wander into town? It's like uh, the Powerpuff Girls. We're taking the secret sailor route today. All right. Not the tavern. Finally. We can get us some damn cat ladies. I want a bushel of cat ladies. All right, let's see what they throw at us to start with. Simon? I like the cut of your jib a little bit, I guess. I want to see Simon's arisen. If we defeat a gore minute, oh, you're a Capcom pawn. Never mind. I can't believe I treated you like an actual person. There's Jordan. <laughs> Apparently, Lord Diablo created you. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess he's got a little bit of Diablo in this. He has Zidane's The Ogre. Weapon, yet again. <laughs> that I always like to point out. Main pawn. Okay, Tarkashian. Show me the forlorn that created you. Uh, I don't like anything about this. How come there's so many generic Skyrim ass players wielding Zidane's the ogre from Final Fantasy IX making cat pawns and they're not even cute cat ladies Damien Galahad this will be good uh <laughs> uh you know what y'all do you it's my fault for talking to you when you think about it. Ninja. Frost. Isn't there a ninja named Frost in uh, Mortal Kombat? It's like Sub-Zero's cousin. Uh, hey June. <laughs> How you doing? So you're basically Leon Kennedy if he had a, like, <laughs> iron girdle applied to him from adolescence <laughs> and it like rearranged his organs Jun well let's see what Jin is all about okay <laughs> once again I'm gonna let you crowd do you I mean if I'm gonna make a buff ta self insert tiger man with a cute snow leopard lady that follows him around and has the secret odds for him then who am I to judge anyone else <laughs> and their main pawn status son all right, let's see. Advanced pawn search. So we're going to want fighters and mages and warriors and potentially archers, although we're probably going to take a melee and a mage. But if there's any cute cat lady archers out there, I want to know about them. That's right. Everyone go home and think about the choices you made, like the choice to not be born as a cute cat lady, son. It's tragic. 
Renfield, Isabel, Odette, Leoris, Z. Z is a lot of uh, archers I'm noticing. Lucky. She's so lucky. She's a star. Aya. Is that a Parasite Eve reference? We'll pretend it is. We'll pretend it is. Stella! I did it all for you! I, I kind of like your vibe you're going with, and I like your, like, painted on, uh, landing strip. Like your Keisha Monaghan painting your drawers on, but your pants, your pants need to be different pants. Also, I don't really care about getting a shield for beating a Cyclops. I never even beat the Cyclops that Tanky was going to give me TNGs for. But I would like to see Loot Miss, Crafter of Stella. You look like you've seen some shit. See, how come those pants aren't on this pawn, son? It'd pull our whole look together. Disappointing. Well, hey there, Leon... Leon Nurka? Leon Nurka? I appreciate your, like, the dichotomy of your voice compared to your visage. Let's see what old Zine is doing. Is that your Undertale OC? Well, you got some cute glasses. Oh, yeah, don't forget, one day we're going to get Blue some cute glasses to make her a Mega Neko. You know what? I'll think about you. How about that? Waddles. <sighs> I kind of like your cut of your jib, and I like your Flameberge Zweihander. An excellent Deutsch Guilty Gear character. Are there any Deutsch Guilty Gear characters? Probably. Alex and Alex. Okay. Once again, buddy, you do you. You do you. Well, hey there, Sajuk. Why ain't you just dainty? Now, who made you? Kashada? Once again, we got one of those mage ladies that makes themselves a cat lady pawn. Son. Uh, once again, keep you in mind. Oh, well, hey, Monica. Crafted by Keith. And there he is. <laughs> he can't wait to get home to his sensible cat mage. Wilthia. You look real dexterous. Katana. Or Katana. Is that the joke? Dante made you, son. You must be absolutely crazy. Dante. Really? Really? That's disheartening. I guess I will talk to you in your tight pants. I like that you you had the shortest speech of all. It's like that Tiny Toons episode where the kids made uh, student films and Plucky's won because, because it got ruined. It was literally like two seconds long and all the judges were like, it was so short. Because uh, Shirley the Loons was like an epic. Okay. Your hair and your mask form a natural shinobi like hood. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Histrina. A good cat name with some poofy pants. There's Luna and Seal and Aria. Oh, you've got like a cool dragoon helmet. What did Valerie have going on though? Oh, I see. Just a little gal and her cat protector. Magnus. Magnus and Saber. You know what? Let's see what spells you have. Let's judge you harshly. Harshly. Okay, so you are just an elemental damage dealer. So you won't be like... Putting any cool elemental buffs. I mean, I can make my own fire daggers, but I've learned recently that having ice on your weapons can be real good, too. As for Saber... Yep. <laughs> it follows the trend. It checks out. Okay, we've made a loop. 
Leoris, you've also got a dragoon style helmet. Ooh, another defeat Cyclops lady. What's Gal? Oh yeah, didn't we come over here? Nah. All right. Well, I like that you two match your themes. What kind of abilities do you keep equipped? Oh, you just have blink strike. <laughs> you just have. You max this pawn out, and all she has equipped is blink strike. Are you watching this video? What the hell's wrong with you? I know I'm not the best at the game, but Jesus. Well, here's Mo speaking of Nickelodeon guts. Slightly taller than me, are you? Uh, your arisen has chosen a dangerous name. Hmm. Hmm. A cute cat lady named Fragia. All right. Well, if you got more than one burst strike, shield drum, launch board, cloudward, slash. Okay, we found our tank. From which we shall get spanked. Mo, the Nickelodeon guts references flow like water. Okay, so we just need a mage now. So let's refine this so that we just get mages. Unique bonds. Oh, I think we've. Oh, did Capcom add more <laughs> official pawns? Is that a thing? Is that for if you're playing offline so that there'll be pawns in the game? I guess. <laughs> I guess. Oh, uh, we could also search by ability. You know what? I want to make sure we're going to get real specific with our cat lady search. We want the... Ice Spoon, because I want Icy Slashes just in case we come across any more Minotaurs. Zo. Zo and Mo. Oh God, it would go so great together. They even have somewhat similar fur colors. Yamato, I see you're more bold and daring with your choice of legwear. I can respect that somewhat. Azen, you've got a lot of anime shit going on with your face. Katniss. Oh, if only that N wasn't there, son. You'd be an insta hire. <laughs> You'd be an insta hire. Osmosis Bones, boys. <laughs> it checks out. It checks out. Tell me about yourself. Katniss? Katniss? Ice Affinity? Celerity? Paladon? Okay, you're good. You're good. You don't even have a pawn quest, but... Should we hire her on the spot? It would take a hell of a combination. We could hire another Mo. Mo Mo's Mo problems, as they say. Aurora Borealis. Aurora the Mage Pawn in this part of the rift at this point in a Dragon's Dogma 2 playthrough localized entirely within your YouTube Let's Play style video. Yes. May I see her arisen? No. <laughs> hey, Sveal. Hey, Ida. Hey, Heart. Hey, Luna, in all caps. Then there was Main Pawn and Emma. Okay, we've done a good loop. We've done a pretty good loop. Who are we going with? Let's uh, take a look at your pants. Okay, you're living up to your potential <laughs> name if that yeah, N wasn't in there. Oh yeah, you're hired. Let's not dawdle. You're going to get along with Blue, I can already tell. All right, we got a team put together right here, boys. We're finally ready. そういえば、こんな話をご存知でしょうか。理解にてポーンだけがかかる病気というものがあるらしく、それが発症すると周囲の人々に甚大な被害を与えるそうです。人々その病になれば、我々ポーンは自我を制御できなくなり、各社様が
sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you girls <laughs> talking while I'm trying to entertain a crowd at home. There's a treasure chest over here that we just haven't gotten. I assure I've tried to get it in multiple episodes. I almost guarantee. I almost guarantee. Yeah, we even came into this same room. We'll figure it out in the future. Okay, what quest are we actually going on now that we're going on a quest? Oh yeah, I guess we could uh, be the ox cart courier since that has a timed element. It has a timed element. Get me to the world map. Oh wait, that's right. We have to go to the actual little thing here. So where am I standing right now? Where am I standing? Does anyone know? Does anyone remember? <laughs> Al, current okay. Okay, well, we're coming up. I'm literally like a couple of steps away, and I had to stop. A wait, ox cart. All right, ladies, we have to give these people money so we can do a quest for them. That's fun. Who do I talk to to give money to? Okay, there you go. Okay, well, he paid me 200. Uh, I forgot the girls aren't allowed to ride with me. For a risen ass only. All right, hopefully I can nod off and when we wake up, we can just kill a bunch of brigands or monsters or something. I don't know. Can we get this thing moving? I'm the main character in a video game. People. Oh, God, we're such immersion in lore. I can't even see myself properly to be mad. And I've got to sit next to this asshole. Son. You know he's going to be chewing his gum with his mouth open. He's going to be listening to a podcast, but without his headphones plugged in. Oh, there's a doze off button right there. I just noticed it. Oh, hell yeah. I like the sound of that distressed voice. I woke up just in time. Oh, yeah. I remember this fucking place. I remember this place. Well, what the hell? I thought we were going to be fighting some goblins or some shit. My god. And now I know how Kazuma feels. Get me on your head so I can spam triangle, aka the Y button, and do all the work. I'm busting your pustules, shit lord. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, I live up here. Icy daggers is all I ever wanted. It's all I ever wanted was icy daggers. Moe's healthy, I assume. Can't breathe fire on me if I've stabbed you in the neck, shit lord. And just for fun, I'm gonna pause the game and restore a great deal of stamina. Because I'm a main character and that's my privilege. Am I supposed to keep popping these pustules? Probably, probably. Push your popper! Extreme! It's like those YouTube videos people like for some reason. <laughs> of disgusting ailments of your body being treated. Son, if this dragon's got a bot fly larva in him, we'll be set, son. 10 million views before you know it. Alright, I appreciate the icy sword. You got some more pustules on your body? That's right. Son. You're lucky I'm in your insurance uh, carrier range, whatever you call that shit. Oh, I'm not even close to stabbing the pistol. I got too much triangle lust. Ooh. Ooh, I gotta get it a little bit closer. Oh no, I'm out of stamina. I forgot to stop and freeze time and get infinite stamina. I forgot. 
If only the elf boy hero were here. He knows about that. He knows about that. From Hell's Heart! I'm doing so much of the work. You could call it the vast majority. The vast majority of the work. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. You crowd don't know me. Oh, this is where we do a lot of damage. I should be helping more here. In fact, I should get down here on his face. Uh, excuse me, sir. I don't know if you know this, but uh, I need you to stay near the ground. We need a little bit of stamina back. Just a hint. Just a smidge. You think he would care more that there's a tiger man constantly stabbing him in the eye. But what do I know <laughs> about being a dragon? Does my twin fangs do more damage if the enemy is fell over like peeling potatoes? Okay, okay, everything's fine. Oh no, everything's, nothing's fine! Save me, Blue! Save me! Damn it. That sucks. It's, we're gonna have to start that whole fucking thing over again. That's fun. That's fun. Video games. Yeah, 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 I know. Let's start this shit over again. It's everyone's favorite part of a video game when you got to start this shit over again. Alright, back to pustule popping. The pustule popping daddies are gonna show up. <laughs> Zoot suit riot indeed. Okay. Alright, there's one down. I got to stop for a second. Gather myself and gather myself. Oh, oh god! The damn dragon from the depths <laughs> in Dark Souls. Gaping dragon. I honestly didn't remember the boss's name for a second there. That's kind of bad. Boys, I need to play more Dark Souls. Get my Dark Souls legs back. Oof. Alright, I could stop for a second and duck down a couple of them like Coca-Cola, son. Like Coca-Cola! Oh. Yeah, don't be under him when he does that. I mean, you crowd play Dark Souls. You crowd probably all start with the master key and skip the depths. So you don't even know about the Gaping Dragon. I'm mashing square instead of triangle to see if it works better. It is more satisfying, I'll give it that. I'll give it that. Alright, there's one pustule down. He had stab us. He couldn't be stopped. Get some cinematic camera angles as I do all the work. Alright. Okay, he's got a bus shield left. Get me off of this fucking thing. Oof. I need Jane from the Jetsons here <laughs> to get me off this crazy thing. Pustule Busters! Doo doo doo! Oh, Moe's helping! Okay, I got slid down a little bit. Oh, he's he don't he don't like it. He don't like it, boys. Blue's casting a spell and giving him hell, son. You love to see it.
My stamina never depletes. As I do all the work! If only I had the Peach Spin to win ability. Oh god. No, move, 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 hoo, 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 hoo. What if I were invisible? Oh no, am I being petrified again? Blue, you have to cure me if I'm being petrified as part of your job. Uh, does it? Katniss have the ability to cure debilitations? Am I remembering that right? <laughs> Okay, so that's that lady I vaguely remember. Oh, I didn't know Mo was that off. Mo, I appreciate everything you did for us. <laughs> Blue's just watching angrily, son. It'll be a lot harder to earn Blue's favor back than mine. I hate to be the one to tell you. And y'all left me for my hard work. Some wife worms life crystal. I'm gonna assume that's for some good upgrades. Is that it? Did I do the quests? Somebody pat me on the head and tell me I did a good job doing the quest. Is it you? Oh, you're the straight bussing guy. Son, I see you're still no cap. Unlike the asshole next to you, son. He's complete cap. He's got a hamburger cap. Did we do it? Was that the quest? I guess I could look at the quest log and see. Oh, I got to deliver the letter to Leonard. Skinnert. Are you Leonard? Oh, you are. Well, I talked to you once. What the hell? Oh, Soldier's Code. So that must be another one of them unique pawn items. The resume pawn will also resume for telling an exceptional ability for fighters. Use it to learn right. Oh, it teaches you a skill. Okay, and Blue will learn it too. Okay, so I guess we have to be a melee class to use that ability. Report back to Donovan. All right, gals. We, I know we've been doing all the work. Have I leveled up my vocation yet? No. Because then we'll be able to get abilities. I, there's an ability where you spin like Sanic the Hedgehog that I want. <laughs> so I could be all are just spread out. Nobody wants to hang out with me anymore, man. Is it because I did all the work? Do y'all feel bad? What if I say help? Maybe they're all confused <laughs> on how to move about. Not you! Blue, all I want to do is talk to you, and the game is doing everything it can to prevent it. Everything it can. Do we just need to go back to the capital to report it? Is that what it wants us to do? I guess it is. So we could either ride the ox car or we could run there and get some more thief experience. Let's get out of town so the damn map will let us do it. Well, let's sleep first so we can all get our max HP back. <laughs> Well, you all were just stood around all day. Ain't my damn fault. God, we ain't been here in forever. Well, I guess I shouldn't be running around with my miniature rune blades drawn. It is bad form.
Now everybody's got it to full HP, right, Blue? Molta Katniss. All right, gals. We're going to go out there and we're going to kill goblins and harpies and salamanders. I guess we won't jump over that wall, but we will take this cool back alley path. You know, Alleyway Jack is back here somewhere. Waiting to play Tetra Master. He's going to be waiting a long fucking time because <laughs> one of the things that makes me sad when I remember Final Fantasy IX is remembering its card game and how it's not as good as Triple Triad. If we wanted to run to the capital ourselves... Okay, that's a jaunt. You know what? Maybe we won't do that. We might get lucky and get attacked on the way. <laughs> Every main character's secret hope. Okay, at least I don't have that asshole sitting there next to me this time. Although, I wish Blue would come up here and hang out with me. Maybe bring her two lady friends. I'm going to pass out right when that bell hits. <laughs> it's a Pavlovian response. Oh boy! Oh boy! It's my lucky fucking day, son! I'm invisible. Oh! This isn't me, like, petrifying or a debuff. This is supposed to be my invisibility skill. I just learned that. I just learned that. Well, goddamn. Thief is a time. Does anyone want to high five? Is it blue? Is it blue? It wasn't. Hey! Oh, no, I don't have any anti-air yet, do I? Okay, how am I... Okay, she's on the ground. She's on the ground now, and that's a good thing. Damn! She screamed so hatefully, it blew me back, son. God, ain't these things aggravating. Makes them so satisfying to kill, though. Sure thing, Katniss. Pop. I appreciate them ice daggers. There's a reason I searched you out specifically. Are we done? Is the exciting combat over? How far did we make it? How far did we make it? Uh, not too bad. I guess I can... I can't tell if we're still under attack or not. It won't let me set down, so... Is there an enemy somewhere that I can't see? Mo, I'm counting on you to show us the leaderboards. Maybe if I walk down... Is it this deer? Because I can do something about that. I can do something about that. The hell? Yeah. Wolf Obliterate. Hey, look at this thing. Look at this thing. And I got just the icy daggers. Oh, you're fighting wolves. That's kind of interesting, I guess. Well, good job, mother. Son, MVP. All right, let's get me some stamina right quick. Oh no, he went bucking and it threw me off. Not for long. <laughs> he got hit in the head. I, I need this ice to start freezing him. Once that happens, we're set. Neck bones, son. Neck bones. It's not even draining my stamina as I go aboard him like neck bones, son. Oh, she's giving me them icy daggers again. Oh, she's a world-class backup mage, son. If I didn't already know about Blue, I wouldn't know what to do. Well, goddamn! <laughs> he has a, a final attack from Hell's Heart. Luckily, we got a tutorial. Luckily, we've got a tutorial. 
Where you going, buddy? To hell? I see hell. I can get you there. I can get you there quick. I guess I can't say I'm doing all the work this time. I guess we're all contributing this time. Hell yeah! I did some of the work! And my humility has earned me a high five. From my high wife. Ugh. And this deer is just watched. <laughs> you just watched. Oh, we've got a party right here, boys. Party, party, party. I want to have a party. I need to have a party. Oh, I just realized Katniss has given us that mage buff. That's what that red buff is, isn't it? And that's the reason why our stamina is so good. Are you crowd done being scared? Don't be scared of her. That's my motto. Did they disappear? Did they despawn? Were they ever real? Oh, no, there you are. <laughs> Blue's like, yeah, you uh, you get used to that. Nothing but Lady Beastron. Now I'm going back into an immediate coma. Yeah! Hey, guy. Uh, well, I wanted to be good friends with you, but I can see that's not possible. <laughs> I like how I can just be like, oh, I delivered a letter and not mention anything about the pustule dragon. Oh, I appreciate that. Even though y'all don't even ride in the damn thing. What say you, Katniss? I see. Now remember, we still need to kill a Cyclops at some point. Well, we're back in town. We could sell these miner hoes and he gave me as a quote-unquote <laughs> reward. Apparently Blue knows where we're headed. What quest are you currently on, Blue? The cage mat. Oh. Do we want to break him out? Is that the next thing we want to do? I need to upgrade my abilities first. And one of my abilities... Will you go get it? Because I'd like to know how. It, it must just be setting up there on top of the wall. Oh, you're going to throw me up there with your cool guy ability. I'm all for that. Oh my god. <laughs> I ain't never witnessed the like of it, son. Such puzzle solving. I see. And apparently we get to log in to Windows XP at the same time. Alright, Mo, you can come here. Please talk to me. Please talk to me, Mo. Why won't you stand still long enough for me to talk to you? You're immediately going to my favorites for helping me get that chest. And Katniss, you're the best mage since Blue. I'd never tell her I said that. It's like telling your wife that her spaghetti is better than your mom's, son. If your mom finds out, or God forbid your grandma finds out, that's it. You're done. Well, don't worry, because I'm secretly the boss of this place, son. Uh, 
Once I get my rank of boss back, son, then I can have Delta join the party. Are y'all crowd seriously interrupting my Eminence and Shadow Delta reference because you want me to read a sign? My God, this crowd. Shut the hell up. Okay, here it is, Helm Splitter. Yeah, that's what we want. Powder charge. Places an explosive on the ground at the user's feet that can be detonated from afar at a moment of their choosing. Can also be employed while cl Oh, you, yeah, I gotta have that. That's, uh, we'll take that over the Shadow Cloak. Because I'm not really going to use that in the middle of combat. And for half the time I've had the ability, I thought it was a deep. <laughs> so. Oh, hey. We knock down, press A to instant. Okay, that's like uh, the Utsusemi or whatever ability that beautiful Joe gets. So, or uh, Cody Travers in Street Fighter 4. You could get up quicker if you knew to hit the button before you hit the ground. You could also make him like throw dirt in the air, son. And if you don't know who Cody Travers is, then the intro to most Tenfei episodes must be very confusing to you. Subtlety. That's me. Oh, we'd want that ability on Blue when she is being proper magey. So we might have to make Blue a cool thiefly gal at some point. Hackle. Son, we'll get the best deals. Okay, let's see. Summons a bone chilling blizzard. Okay, so that's the upgraded ice ability. So yeah, you're definitely getting that. I guess we could equip these since she just doesn't have a fourth ability. I just don't know if it'd be better for her to save up for the big spells or not. Disparity increases the likelihood of inflicting debilitation. Okay, I love to see it. We're getting there, son. Yeah, maybe I will. Run over to the store right quick. Where are you going in such a rush, huh? 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 Is this just a random NPC behavior, or is this like lead me to a secret quest? It's a no. It's a no, King. He's like, it's a no problem. <laughs> He's just being flanked by large muscular cat people. Once again, some people have all the luck. <laughs> oh, did one of you see a treasure chest? Go get it. I'm starting to think this guy's not a secret quest. <laughs> and it's just it's an putting random shit in the game to drive me insane. There's the uh the one extra store around here I wanted to check. Which one is it I'm thinking of? Okay, you're the regular people I see from the front. I re Maybe I dreamed it. Didn't I walk into one of these stores and there was a suit of armor that I said exposed my midriff and blew like that? That's the memory I'm currently having. In my brain mind. I guess we could look at the map at the little icons of stores. It looks like there's one over here. We've gotten back to the part of the game where I just run around the capital city not knowing where the hell anything is and getting hung in the world geometry. AKA the best part of the playthrough. All right, there's where you do your vocations. There's the bar, there's the inn. Maybe I dreamed that place up. It's like Silent Hill 2. Blue sent me a letter to meet her at that secret upstairs weapon stop. Our beloved upstairs weapon shop. And I'm like, but Blue got thrown into the ocean by harpies three years ago. How could she have sent me this letter? Oh, regardless of all that, let's just sell what we can with what we have where we are. So these are my extras, miners, hosen. Desuga, as they say. Y'all keep changing my quests. 
Okay, I don't have full HP, I just noticed. So we're going to have to go to bed again. <laughs> and then we can get back to questing. Then we can get back to quest world. I'm hung in a corner trying to get to my own house. It's so shameful. It's so shameful. <gasps> Another secret bag from... Is this how mail works here? I like that cat in this race to be here. I had a feeling you would not be here today, yet still I said I'd see you. More the fool. I know. However, I do not regret coming here. At the very least, tis an opportunity to pass on this package. Okay. I'm just lousy with fairy stones. These things supposed to be rare. It's rare that I don't get one. <laughs> That's a quest reward nowadays. Let's deposit some of our garbage, our precious garbage. All right. Kept that inventory nonsense to a minimum. A lot of sleeping in this episode. It's a good episode to watch while you're laying down, except for the parts where I start screaming. A nice knock this jump. The vim and vigor to take on the day. I agree, girls. I agree. And if I could ever be allowed to look at my quest log again. Let's. Go ch check on that village. That'll be a fun reason to run out of town and kill a bunch of monsters. And kill a bunch of monsters. What's the... Okay, so we want to go out the left exit of town. Or the west exit, as some people call it. Incorrectly. Alright, I'm counting on you girls to yell at me and tell me where to go. We're taking a very indirect route. Katniss knows the path less traveled. Uh, this is a water, Katniss. I can't swim. There are tentacle fuck monsters. Katniss, no! Don't go in a straight line! <laughs> yeah, Mo, you appreciate garbage, son. That's one thing we can agree on. Okay, we've already been out here and opened this box in the past. Uh, well, there's the exit. Why did you run down here? I trusted you, Katniss. I trusted you. Yeah, Blue's a keeper, son. She'll keep you on track to beating the game by doing a side quest. We're finally upstairs. I'm not racing you, Blue, but if I was, I'm totally winning, son. Crash Bandicoot. Where's Mo? She ain't never gonna win. A chunk of the aggro crack like that. I'm just gonna have to start talking over the ladies. Because <laughs> it's so many awkward pauses otherwise. There better be goblins out here to kill. I'm the goblin killer. There was a cooler name I wanted to use, but it was already copyrighted. Shisha! Okay, I had a lot on me. A lot on me. All in a row. All in a row. Not that I'm complaining. Alright, where is she? There she is. Bitch! <laughs> Icy daggers, shitlord! Icy daggers! Yeah. Oh, yeah, Blue. Then there's that guy. Nobody acknowledge him. <laughs> Nobody acknowledge him. Running through the woods. Killing what we can. Running through the woods. Because that's my master plan. I guess I could stop every so often and regain stamina. I'm going to pretend this is more wind, and you just run everywhere until your fatigue bar is empty, and then wonder why none of your melee attacks land. And then make a YouTube video about how terrible the game is, because none of your attacks land. <laughs> when you're not playing it correctly. 
see Patrician TV's like eight hour review. Well, I flew over here just in time to get mine cut. Oh, 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 what happened? Did somebody spin? Did somebody win? Even with this ability, I've still got to be near them. Ooh. I wish to God that you were somewhere that I could be near you and cast or cast a spell and use an ability. Even with this specific ability designed for anti-air, their movement is so aggravating. Their movement is so aggravating, I finally got you! And then there's this bit. And I fell asleep again. No matter how powerful you get, and no matter how much you prepare, it's no knows how to make the bird bitches be super fucking aggravating. It's one of the many things I hate about him. I didn't get there in time for the healing, so please heal me. Thank you. I appreciate that about you. I appreciate that about you, Katniss. I jumped past you for a reason, shitlord. Why does Capcom think I just want to switch out pawns every two fucking seconds? <laughs> it's an eye. I know you're watching. You've been inducted into the league of Japanese game developers that formed the anti Tenfei League. I kill wolves for fun, baby. Make my daggers fiery. Make my daggers icy. My daggers cast antipodes, son. My daggers cast antipodes. Why are you always slightly out of my attack range? Everyone did a good job. You're welcome. Thanks for the old apples. Or excuse me, ripened. <laughs> That's what we call them so we can legally sp still put them on the store shelf. They're not rotten, they're ripened. Ignore the pig. No wooing! I'm telling you, you're probably going to get locked up! Oh, there's uh is that a Cyclops? Can we finally do the Cyclops quest? Because that'll be neat and nifty. Come on, gals. There's a Cyclops to kill. He's got a thing on his face, so be careful. He's crafty. Because I can spin the wind, baby! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Stop for the briefest moment to regather my stamina. He's froze, baby. He's froze. In mid spin, I stop and restore my stamina. I told you stamina recovery is the most important. You like that? Shit, Lord, I'm coming for you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I did a substantial amount of the work. We all did a good job. Yeah, we got the Wonder Team right here, son. You crowd are welcome, by the way. And once again, Blue's right back on the case. You know what I haven't found in a while? Any of them golden beetle bugs. What let me carry more things? Carrying beetle bugs, I think they're called. Also sounds like the name of a Zerg unit. That's a carrying beetle bug, Lester. Oh, hey, what's this thing over here we're going to kill? You remind me of some piece of shit monster I'm going to kill. 
Is that a minotaur or an ogre? You look like some kind of a monkey thing. Well, you just gonna talk shit? Oh, uh, you cried got into a separate skirmish. Hey, our friend the dragon is back. How fun. hoo I have an actions. That means I'm helping. That means I'm helping. Is that thing ready for us to kill it yet? Because I'll support that. Ooh. What you doing over there, buddy? What you doing over there? That's, you're not even being killed by me. Why don't you come over here running towards us? Why don't you come over here running towards us? Why are you so cowardly? Here he comes, boys. I thought he would. Why is this enemy behavior, man? Are you? Is he hung in a corner? Is that what happened? My master plan! Oh, I forgot. The range is slightly different. Oh, yeah! I'm spinning, which means I'm winning. Stop, boys! Why didn't no one tell me Thief was the best fucking job in the game? <laughs> Why didn't nobody tell me? Freeze him! Oh, I need to stop and eat one of my precious I think it's my last full stamina, isn't it? Yeah. Please make my daggers fire. There, I see again. Thank you. Thank you. I'm climbing up, yeah. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Where you going? I ain't even done stabbing you in the head yet. Oh, is that your technique for when someone climbs up you? You just fall over in a pile? I like how that dragon's in the background having his own fucking actions and encounters. Oh, look who's frozen. Look who's in icy hell. Icy London, icy hell. Notice you look mad. Ooh. Ooh. Are you banking my sword icy again? Katniss, she's doing everything she can. God bless her. God bless her. I can make them fiery in the meantime, son. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Once again, I can't figure out what the hell this enemy is doing. He just, like, randomly wanders around. There they are. Letting me do all the work. Look how much damage I'm doing, son. Uh, got to stop in the middle and get a little bit. Uh, I'm completely out of No, there they are. Here comes the finale. Oh, I want the high five blue. It weren't meant to be. Good job, girls. So is that an ogre? Is that what an ogre is? It's all ogre now. <laughs> That's all I could say. Yeah. Well, I guess we could do a little bit of mountain exploring while we're here. Just a little bit. Oh, uh, we're in harpy territory. You definitely want an archer when you're fighting harpies. You want Archie Bunker out here. 
Ah, uh, they're so frustrating. That's why it's so satisfying to obliterate them. Here I come. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That time I didn't. Bitch. I nicked her. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Katniss. Thank you, Blue. Yeah. Almost got away. <laughs> Almost got away from me. Oh, I want to open that box. I'm opening it through the wall, man. That's speedrun tech right there, boys. Well, we visited another statue, and it had some nice plants. There's a no inspirational quote. So that's the village we're going to check on. We could make us the best thumbnail if everyone wanted to stand here together. As a cool group of cat ladies and one cool cat man. Just to balance things out. So. I'm trying to have good memories with you girls. And maybe some thumbnail potential. And maybe some thumbnail potential. You girls don't know me. Well, maybe you do. <laughs> I'm that cool tiger man that does a lot of the work. Hmm. Somehow I feel like we shouldn't be fucking around with that thing. <laughs> right now. Is there another path? Hey, look, we wouldn't have found this box if I hadn't gotten us lost in the mountains. Yeah, I know, it's too good to use, which means I'm going to end the game with a stack of them, because I'm going to be like, well, what if I need to use it in a more better spot? In a more better spot? Oh, God, Henry and Margaret are going to kill me. I was just noticing how these pants accentuate my shapely tiger buttocks when I'm being over, uh, looting things in the wrong spot. Oh god, this isn't where we're supposed to ascend. We've got to run all the way fucking back here. Logician, what? You found that? Must be an ability they have that I'm not privy to because I don't read their full bio <laughs> before I hire them. I guess you're hard to sneak around when you can sense me. It's like Dragon Ball, son. Did he go away? Because I'll support that. Maybe he did. Maybe I imagined him. Maybe I imagined dragons, son. Next you're going to tell me that Wendy's Frosties have never been real. Next you're going to tell me the town of Duma. <laughs> isn't a real place. Yep, yep, you're doing a good job. Bunny rat slaughter. Oh no, I have to burn all my cooldowns. He's too quick, but I got him. Well, my one of my armors needed a rabbit pelt, so what if I need one later? What if I need one later? Hey, look, a cool camping spot here outside of town. In case everyone in town hates you, but you still like to go camping at a spot where you can glare at them with hate in your heart. <laughs> what a sad camping scenario. I mean, it. can you kill seagulls? Do they drop anything? Do they drop french fries that ding batters through to them? Because that would be realistic. Slime monster. Make me icy daggers and I'll take care of this thing. Sha, 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 sha. <laughs> Fret not, ladies. No slime monsters will make purchase of your goods <laughs> and services while I'm around. 
Well, except for blue, but that's only when she specifically requests. When it's slime time Saturday. Are y'all wading out into the water as an excuse to pee without looking like you're peeing? Because as somebody who's had to do that before, I'll support it. Son, if you walk out into waist deep water, you can just piss. <laughs> no one's allowed to say anything. Well, if they're standing next to you and the water feels warm, they're allowed to say something. But if you're doing stealth pissing, you really shouldn't be standing next to anyone, son. <laughs> Welcome to Ten Face Stealth Pissing Pro Tips, son. Brought to you by Rage Shadow Legends. Oh! I got two, son! I got two bird bitches with one spin attack. Yeah, this is a game changer, son. If you go to start playing this game yourself, just start as a thief. Or a rogue, or whatever they call this class, son. Damn it! There, thank God. <laughs> we had Thunder God Blue here. Or no, that might have been Katniss. I forgot. This. I think she has a lightning spell, too. Just to round her out. I want to search down here before we go in that cave. <gasps> See? Look at this precious, precious loot we missed out on. Oh, you could just catch a fish, son. Sid's going to be perfectly fine in the world of ruin. Unless you want to see that cool scene where Celeste tries to jump off a cliff to end her life, and it's real poignant, and she finds a seagull with Locke's headband on it and realizes he's still somewhere out there in the world. Or if you're playing the North American localization with Ted Woolsey, uh, she jumped off the cliff to do something exciting <laughs> because she totally wanted to keep on living on the island by herself. You crowd that have never played Final Fantasy VI are like, once again, I can never tell if Ten Face just making shit up. Ah, the cave of blunders. Lanterns on, girls. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Synchronized lanterns. Let us go. Come on. I forgot that made you go to the quest objective. Hmm, what goes on in here? A bunch of monsters for me to kill? I love it. I love it. I'm waiting for my daggers to turn icy before I head over there. Katniss, sweetheart. Oh, I guess I'll do it myself. Oh, 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 I can't be fucking stopped, boys, once I get hung on you. Once I get hung on you. I never stop mashing. You guys like to jump around a lot, don't you? Oh, you can, like, land on his head when you do that spin attack. That's useful. That's useful. I'm hung on your ass. I don't know what you expect. I don't know what you're expecting. Make my swords fire swords. I'm hoping to burn out one of his cankles. I used up all my stamina. I'm bad off flu. I'm bad off. You're gonna have to do more of the work. Okay, I think I finally get nice daggers. Oh yeah. If I could ever stand up again. I don't care if I use up all my stamina, it's worth it. And one of these nice girls will run over and use an item on me because they're all keepers, son. They're all keepers. All right, maybe I'll recover for just a moment. That must have been Salamander. Oh, yeah. Here I come, boys! Make my stab in the hand strong. Lord, make my stab in the hand strong! Is Katniss giving me ice back, or do I need to employ my own fire? Oh, no, she's giving me ice. She's giving me the ice, baby. Oh, no, I should have jumped. That's fine. You've only made me more powerful when I get up to do all the work of finishing you off, son. Of finishing you off. Oh, I could plant a bomb on his back, too. And then jump away like a cool guy. And be like, boom! <laughs> God damn, talk about doing all the work, son. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I know the kids at home are high-fiving their monitors now, so I don't need your all's high-fives, although I would appreciate them. Although I would appreciate them. Man, that guy picked the wrong fucking time to come down here and mess with us, man. I feel like I contribute a lot more now that I'm a cool thief. Who knew? Who knew? The greatest trick Etsuno ever pulled was convincing you to start this game as a fighter instead of a thief. Of course, I've always heard Dragon's Dogma 1 had a class called Strider that was like a two blade class and I've always heard it's the best one to start as so the one hour I played that game I started as a fighter so it's probably why I stopped playing that's probably why I stopped playing something needs killing oh hey I can't. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I was like, I can't hit him. It refuses. It refuses. What's this over here? A secret enclave with this lady? With this lady? I like how y'all opened all the cool boxes while I was distracted by that lady. Oh, what a nice shanty. With my fine horse bud robrant. And I do, I left my Shade Walker's neck wrap. Isn't that what I'm wearing? Another fairy stone. We're going to have to start placing these just so I don't feel bad. It's like the end of uh, my Final Fantasy IV TMVA. Where I was trying to use all my elixirs. Nobody fall off a cliff. It'd be really embarrassing. And as you're arisen, that embarrassment uh, reflects back onto me. I thought that looked like a grand pedal. A grand old pedal. Alright, well there's where the enemies are. So, what's this? Oh, you gotta springboard me up there! <gasps> yes. No, you did it wrong. <laughs> You're supposed to face towards this thing. Or maybe I approached you from the wrong angle. It was my own fault. Oh, yeah. Poor Mo. I blame Mo for nothing. Oh, yeah. Cash money, baby. And all kinds of precious, precious green warish. The most valuable plan of all. I realize I'm up here by myself now, but that's probably not bad. Name one time in a role-playing fantasy scenario where the thief going off by himself resulted in something bad happening. You can't do it. Hey, assholes! Ooh, get sparks! Uh, I'm blighted. I'm blighted! Somebody unblight me! There they are. I was wondering when my icy daggers were getting here. Been checking the website all day. Still <laughs> seeing when my icy daggers were out for delivery, son. Neck boons, baby! Neck boons! Sport button in the corner! The lizard man story. work everybody oh. <laughs> you continue doing good work everybody a week's berry and the lizard man oh yeah once again Katniss don't let blue seed me being too good of friends with you son hmm he 
said to himself. Jagged bones. I guess we could be slaughtering more of these eggs since I don't like these lizard people. It's like the opposite of Overlord. Overlord, the lizard people were the best part. This place reminds me of White now. Is that another man whore arisen you're talking about? Where does this lead? This is just a secret path to get to where we were going, I think. It seems like. Well, then, what's this over here? The Itsuno didn't want us to know about. To it's a know about. Oh, where we've already been. The most secret spot of all. Okay, so you could have gone this way before. If you didn't have somebody to launch you up there with their cool shield toss ability. I got you. So that means if I had that ability, I could have used it to launch blue up to some of them chests. We could. Oh, okay. We've already been out here. My bad. I got too excited. Well, I like that we're out here in the dark. The frame rate is a lot better. So that's something. That's something, I guess. I guess we can actually go to town now. Here. Oh, but the garbage glistens in the dark. These books. I need to remember I've got these books. If in case I ever need to cast a cool spell and battle one of them thief spellcasters you read about. I could heal. And I could cast high side. And I could even put lightning on my own swords when we're fighting. I assume salamanders, aka lizard man, are weak to lightning. Just I'm more of an icy boon kind of guy. Icy London, icy boon. There's a noob sabbat in joke in there somewhere, but I'm just not clever enough to make it. The town. I assume everything's okay. I just realized. Oh <laughs> no, not a crick internet. Blue's got the most sensible advice for that cat warrior. She's not Miri cat warrior, but she's still a pretty cool cat warrior. Neko Sinshi Miri. Hey guys, remember when we liberated this whole town for y'all? Anybody? Anybody? You? Oh, you're somebody's main pawn. Well, who made you that they were too lazy to name you? Huh. You think if you're going to go through all the effort of being this sorceress cat man that you would name your damn pawn? That I assume you made just a tank for you. おい。<笑> <laughs> I like because of the way he ran up to talk to me. I'm standing here like a cool guy, just looking at him over my shoulder, son, with my ladies in waiting. They're like, yeah, we're waiting for you to get to the damn point of this quest. <laughs> like, Jesus, ignore them. They all think I'm secretly cool. They're all soon dare. リザードマンをどうにかしてください。再びのリザードマンです。村の平和のためにも討伐しましょう。I you... am the one on whom they can depend, son, just like Sailor Moon. Hey, idiots! Oh, you know what I should have done? Well, I think I'm about to have ice on my sword, so it doesn't matter. Let's try something. I want to see if I can do this to override the ice and do better damage. 
Well, I would if I didn't end up in Staggerville. Population my dumb ass. Lightning. All right, shit, Lord. Lightning attacks and damage. You're just now teaching me about lightning attacks? Oh, yeah, they hate it. And as always, I love that they hate it. Yeah, I'd say they're a little bit weak to it. <laughs> Ride the lightning, shit lords. Oh, uh, no, I want to high five. Okay, I high five mode at the last second. I'm still just looking over my shoulder like the cool guy, son. こんなことになるなんて。これだから十字人情なさ。そういう言い方は。こいつをかばうつもりか。獣同士で釣るんで。よからのことでも。ジョナスさん、いい加減にしてください。申し訳ありません。気分を害するようなことでも、あなたには本
I guess we should camp. Since this crowd doesn't have an end. It's going in my Yelp review, by the way. Okay, so it is that one over there across the water. Across the water. Or we could just make camp. <laughs> or we could just make camp. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I like that you all sat in a row like that. That'll make another potential thumbnail. Although the episode four thumbnail is me in blue sitting at the camp. Not that it really matters how much you all even pay attention to the thumbnails. Oh, and we've got our perfectly aged beast steak. Yeah, you gal said it. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to end the recorded session here. I should probably keep these episodes a little bit shorter, and then I could, you know, put them out more frequently than several weeks in between. So, in the meantime, let's go into... I'll go into photo mode. I guess I could go into photo mode here with you kids since I've started learning how it works. Inclination. Oh no, the world is upside down. Nothing makes sense anymore. Nothing makes sense anymore. Okay, this was a bad idea. We're all about to collectively throw up <laughs> from that little moment. I feel like I should end the episode before we go to sleep. That'll be good. That'll be good, and I bet Blue will agree, son. I bet Blue will agree. わたしは支援行動を重視し、常に各社様に寄り添います。戦いにおいては各社様の行動に準じます。旅を続けると互いの性質も分かってきますね。<laughs> Doing everything I can to try to tastefully zoom out on Blue's face. And the game just keeps getting mad at me. Is her name going to disappear if I stand still long enough? It did. The end of the play episode is saved. Son. And I like how I'm lurking in the background like a creepy pasta image, son. The perfect ending to the episode. <laughs>